everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you the visual difference between curls with a flat iron and curls with a curling wand. Sometimes I really struggle to decide what kind of curls I want for different looks that I'm doing, so I'm going to give you a visual demonstration of both. On this side of my face, I'm going to do curls with my flat iron, straightener, whatever you want to call it, and then on this side, I'm going to do my curls with a curling wand. I've already got my Milk and Blush Hair Extensions clipped in, and this is the classic set in like 2022. Kind of feeling like a change recently, I'm going to go for the longer length and yeah fancy a change so it's already kind of straightened and nice and sleek kind of like a blank canvas and I've parted my hair down the centre so I'm just going to split my hair in half and I'm going to clip this section back out of the way and I'm going to be dealing with this section first because this is the side I'm going to use my flat iron on and I'm just going to section off my hair so I can work with it section by section I seem to say section a lot in these videos <laughs> Then I've got my flat iron here, it's already nice and hot. I've got it on 230, you don't want to go above that really, that's Celsius, not Fahrenheit. And I've already put heat protection on my hair as well. So I'm just going to take a small piece here, I'm going to put my flat iron down towards the ground, clamp my hair at the top, twist it around once and then just pull the hair through. You can twist it more than once if you want, depending on what kind of curl you want to get. So with the flat iron, you've kind of got kind of more of a beachy wave. It doesn't really take that much length off the bottom, if you can see, compare it there. So I'll carry on doing this all over this section, and then I can show you guys what the finished look looks like. Okay, so this side is all done, and the golden rule with doing curls is always let your curls cool completely before you brush them out. So while these are cooling, I'm going to go on to the other side and use the curling wand. So I'm going to be using a 32mm curling wand, kind of a standard size when it comes to curling wands, and that's the size that I always go for. It would also help if I turned it on as well. So I'm going to section off my hair in the same way I did before. And when I'm curling my hair with my curling wand, I like to take sections about an inch thick and I always curl away from my face. So I pop the wand behind the hair like this and then I wrap the hair around flat and try to keep it quite close together as well. If you want more of a wave, then you want to put a little bit of space between the hair. But we're going for a curl for this look. So. I like to keep it quite close together. And you're gonna hold that for about 10 seconds. Then you want to drop it into your hand so it cools a little bit. I like to kind of scrunch the hair a little bit as well just to really hold that heat in. And then you can let it drop slowly. And you can see you've got a really pretty curl there. So I'm gonna carry on this process all over this side of my head. Always curling away from your face and always allowing the sections to cool in your hands slightly before you drop them. So I'm all finished up on this side and you can see it's looking a bit crazy. I've got a kind of Shirley Temple, Curly Sue thing going on. So I'm going to leave those to cool and then I'm going to brush both sides out so you can see the finished look. Now I'm going to really gently brush out these curls and I'm going to start on the flat iron side. And I always like to start from the bottom and work my way up. That's the best way to kind of brush your extensions because they don't get knotted at all. So you can see with the flat iron you've kind of got this beachy textured vibe going on. Okay, so now that section's all brushed out, I'm going to move on to this side. And again, brushing from the bottom up. So you can see there you've kind of got a bit more, you know, more Victoria's Secret-esque look about those curls. And then you've got the more relaxed, beachy look on this side. So there you have it guys, now you have a visual guide 
on the difference between flat iron curls and curling wand curls. I really hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below which side you prefer, the flat iron or the curling wand. I love them both, I think they're such different styles, so versatile. Um, you know me, I just love a curl. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, that would really make my day. Subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well and I'll see you next time.